hello 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 everybody welcome to the unique word i received an email from one of my uh uniques trying to find out i went somewhere and i had um, a speech and i told the people there that life is like an elevator it goes up and it goes down and you have to know the people that are in your elevator those going with you and those you're going to let go out of your elevator and one of my uniques wrote me and said um, miss unique can you please explain that so this video is for you i want you to picture this you know the elevator in a house it starts from the ground floor and it takes you all the way up to wherever you want to go to the 10th floor to the 20th floor to the 100th floor whatever floor you want to go it takes you there that's how life is the sky is not even your limit. Your potentials, your destiny is way up there. And you can go to anywhere you want to go to. But you have to mind the people that are in your elevator. Because remember, the same way the elevator goes up, the elevator also comes down. It comes down back to the ground floor. So as you're going in this elevator, that is your life. Mind the kind of people you put in your elevator. You put only the people that are there to cheer you on, the people that believe in you, the people that trust you, the people that are loyal to you, the people that are honest with you. Because just like a physical elevator, when you're going up, let's say, to the 10th floor, and you have people in the elevator that are telling you, oh, no, it's too long, we can't do this, it is too far, oh, I'm tired. By the time you know it, you're tired too. You will start complaining like them so you have to put only positive people people that have the same dreams with you people that have the same vision this is 2020 vision you guys have your goals you have set your new year resolutions you have set smart goals remember smart goals s is it must be specific m it must be measurable a it must be attainable r it must be relevant and t it must be time bound when you have set all these goals then get into this elevator get into life with people that have made the same similar goals with you or even if they didn't make the same goals with you they are there to support your own goals don't put people that are there to be downers that are there to bust your destiny that are there to talk down to you that are there to tell you your destiny will never be attained or achieved don't put people in there that doubt whether you are ever gonna get to the top you have to put people that believe that you're going to the top and they are there with you to go to the top with you and on the ground floor let's look look let's look at a physical elevator you know when you start at the first floor there are so many things at the first floor there are stores there are things that is life as you're starting up this 2020 january one there are things that you see there are things that are around you there are things that make you feel like it's not gonna work there are already today is the is it the seventh today no today is the seventh and already i promise you in some of our lives we have already started seeing things going left when we plan for it to go right he have already started going left and now we are beginning to say mm -mm, are you sure i should continue don't you think i should give up hope don't you think i should just stop but i'm here to tell you i'm here to inspire you i'm here to motivate you that just like the physical elevator you see in buildings you want to go to the 20th floor you want to get to the peak of your destiny you want to get to the peak of your dream put people in your elevator that believe in you and when you notice, maybe some people who are there, they believe in you from the first floor. But once you get to the 10th floor and it's beginning to be a little bit high, you know, some of us are scared of height. So once we get up there, they're like, oh, oh, I can't continue anymore. You think we're going to do this? You think we're going to do this? Let's stop. Let's get off. My sister, my brother, open the elevator door and let them go. Let them go. They must not go all the way to the top with you. They were there maybe for the first one to 10th floor to encourage you they were there to maybe cheer you on they were there to um maybe motivate you but now their time has expired at the 10th floor they're beginning to complain they're beginning to get tired they don't believe in your dream anymore my sweetie my honey my uniques open the elevator door and let them go you don't have to go with them because you're still going to the top open the elevator and let them go and close your door and move on that's what life is remember if you go watch some of my videos go to my channel 
unique show. I have a lot of videos on this. Go to my channel, watch the video. Remember I told you guys, it is okay to be you. It is okay to see to say, my sister, you were here for a season. Now your season is over. I have learned the lessons of the season. Adios. Bye-bye. See you later. That doesn't mean you should be, you know, angry or you should, you know, drop them as your friend. No. It's just that they have done what they needed to do. The time is now past. You know, they are no longer cheering you on. They are tired. Then let them go. Continue with the people that want to go with you. When you get to the 20th floor and some of the people start saying, you know what? Sweetie, don't you think we have done too much? We are tired. We are still not achieving it. Maybe we should call this a day. Open your door and let them go too. <laughs> let them go too. Close your door and keep going. Nobody is going to stop you. No obstacle is going to stop you. The Lord said that you are a king's kid. You are the child of the most high God. And the Bible says that I know the thoughts and plans I have for you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Thoughts that will bring you to an expected end. That's what the Bible says. And this is God's word. He said, command ye me according to my words. Those are his words. And he said, those words must surely come to pass. So I wanted to explain to you my unique and to all my uniques out there. Life is like an elevator. But there comes a time when you have to let people out of your elevator and keep on moving. Keep it going. Don't quit because they want to quit. Don't lose your vision because they don't believe in it. Don't lose your dream because they are doubting your dream. Hold on to your dream. Hold God. Remember I told you guys this year in my video on 2020. Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Hold God by his word and say, God, I will not let you go until this elevator gets to the peak of my dream. Until this elevator gets to the peak of my vision. Until this elevator gets to the peak of my goals. That's what you tell God and hold God onto that. So my uniques out there, remember 2020 is not the year to play around. 2020 is not the year to keep giving people a chance. Remember, I made a video on when people show you who they are, believe them. Don't make excuses for them. If this friend or this colleague or this family member or this uh, whatever acquaintance or business partner, they have shown you that they don't believe in your dream. They have shown you that, hey, you're wasting your time. It will never be a reality. Open the door, let them go and keep on moving. Keep on popping because guess what? Nobody is going to honk your horn for you. You are the only person that is going to honk your horn. If you believe in yourself, we believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself, why do you think I'm going to believe in you? If you're selling me something that I see you don't even believe in, you are not even buying it. You think I'm going to buy it? Oh, no. I will not. So come with confidence. Know what you have planned. Set those goals and head on with your action plans to achieve them. And remember, like I always tell you guys, life is an elevator. There comes a time when you need to open your door and let some people go. And keep the ones that are willing to head to you, that are willing to be with you to the top, that are heading with you to the top. And remember my unique, like I always tell you guys, you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. That is why you are unique. And please be kind to yourselves and to each other. Bye-bye.